Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to our lesson. If solving square trinomial is difficult for you, I advise you to watch this video until the end. So, let's start. What is a square trinomial? A perfect square trinomial can be written as the square of binomial. Definition A polynomial of the form is called a quadratic polynomial. Approximately x variable. A, B, C, R, K, F, percent, and the A is not equal to zero. A quadratic equation in independent cases where B or C, B and C are equal to zero is called an incomplete quadratic equation. Incomplete quadratic equations are written as follows. Dear students, AX square is leading term of square trinomial is a leading coefficient, so a can never be equal to zero. The reason is that the leader a should not stop this development. If will either go down, minus, or up, plus. The main thing is not to get stuck in one place. Let's take this example x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay, so we have the group symbol all right. If this is negative, so put negative here and also here. Okay, so now what is the square root of x squared? So the square root of x squared or the factors of x squared is x and uh, now what are the factors of 9 or what is the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 okay now let's check so think of a number the answer is positive 9 and then if you add them, the answer is negative 6. Okay, so that's our answer, final answer. So guys, I give you exercise and then solve the at 30 seconds. The second example, x squared plus 10x plus 25. Let's factor this expression. So, is it a perfect square trinomial? Well, let's find out the square root of 25 is 5. If we multiply 1 in 5, we are going to get 5 and 5. So, is half of 10 is 5 so that means it's a perfect square trinomial add to the middle term 10 5 times 5 is 25 and then 5 plus 5 is 10 so this is going to be x plus 5 times x plus 5 or simply x plus 5 squared so that's one way in which you can get the answer but and now i'm going to show you second case we where we use square trinomial a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared so notice that a squared is x squared and b squared is 25 which means b is 5 so i can write 25 is being 5 squared plus 2 times a 
which is x and b which is 5 so as you can see a b is 2x times 5 which is 10x equivalent to each other set the four we know the answer is going to be x which is x plus 5 squared Let's start example for x squared plus 12x plus 9 is a type perfect square trinomial. Well, let's find the square root of 9, uh, 4 and the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 2 and the, and the square root of 9 is 3. If we multiply 3 times 2 is equal to 6, which is half to 12, so that tell, uh, tells us that this is indeed a perfect square trinomial. So we know that square is going to be a square going to be for x squared which means a is 2x and uh, b squared is 9 so b is string b equal to 3 a string and uh, we know that answer is going to be a plus b squared so that means it has to be 2x plus 3 squared. So according to formula, this is answer. And the, it's factored from the let's prove it. So because the leading coefficient, leading coefficient uh, is not 1, the let's prove it. So because the leading coefficient is also not the 1, Technicus that we will need to use a factor expression. It's going to be a little different than the last example. Now the first thing you need to is multiple four and nine. Four times nine is equal to six thirty six. But at the middle coefficient twelve, this is going to be um, six plus six. So. 6 times 6 is 36 and 6 plus 6 is 12. Now let's replace the 12 with um, 6, 6x, um, 4x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 9. And then we needed to factor by grouping. In the first two terms, take out the GCF, which is 2x, 2x plus 3. So, stream now the GCF for the last two terms is stream 3, um, 6x divided by 3 is. 2x plus 9 divided by 3x 3 is also 3 so we can factor out uh, 2x plus 3 so if you take out 2x plus 3 we'll left over the width 2x and if you take it out here 
what we have left over this 3. So as you can see, 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. It's a simply 2x plus 2x plus 3 and c 2x plus 3 squared. You can see this answer, this answer, our expression. So guys, that's all. In this video, we learned square trinomial and the incomplete square trinomial. I think this video was useful for you. See you. Goodbye.